Welcome to Conversations with a Stranger, a podcast where I get up close and personal with people from all corners of the world. On each episode, my guests will share their stories, experiences, and perspectives that will give us an inside look at their lives. So come along on this journey as we explore the world to these incredible conversations. What brings you to Omegle? Just bored or what's that? Yeah, just uh, this is what I do when I drink. That's why I put uh, very specific tags of just uh, politics and drinking specifically. So I don't run into any, uh, you know, any. So are you a very political person or you just find more interesting people with this tag? Uh, more interesting people, for sure. And are you located in the United States? I am, yes. Uh, do you like where you're living? I do. Is that where you've lived your whole life? No. You like that better than where you were? Yes. What about it is so cool to you? Um, because I moved away, and then I realized uh, that I liked it better. So were you running from bad influences and things like that? I would say that as well as... Uh, like the uh, the walls that they had as well, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, no, of course. A lot of states have really wacky laws. <clears throat> so, um, how did you end up there? Like, is it just you chose a place and? Well, where where are you from? First of all, I'm from Iowa. Okay, all right, yeah. So similar similar to where you're at, I would say. Like very similar, just about the same. I'm in Pennsylvania. So you just picked it because of the laws, or did you have family up there? Uh, no, I've, I've, uh, I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada, and then uh, we moved back here because that's where my family was from when I was two, and then uh, I moved out to California for like rehabilitation, uh, and then you weren't really allowed to do anything there, um, yeah, like. Uh, dirt bikes and all that kind of stuff that I grew up with so I just ended up moving back so this one's a little deeper what kind of values do you hold dear personal values I mean definitely like a, a hard work ethic like my father was very hard on me as a kid uh, so like starting his own company uh, when we first moved back like after he was in the union so so uh, like a hard work ethic, uh, just being nonstop, you know, four hours of sleep. You know, uh, I never turned out <laughs> to be a, an influencer over it, but. Um, That's what you, you have that worth ethic, work ethic though, that you picked up from your father? I mean, I would say so in a very, a very high love for my family. But that, that also comes at the cost of the uh, you know, trying to uh, look up to your father and please him as well. Yeah, um, my parents died not too long ago. They didn't make it to 50, so, but when my dad was here, it was, you know, I was trying to emulate him for sure. Yeah, my dad's still what, alive, and I'm still trying to do it, so I completely understand. What have you been your biggest lessons in life so far? Is there anything like that you had to struggle with? I mean, you went to rehab, obviously, but yeah. um, that what, what kind of got you through that? What kind of lessons did you learn? I mean, I guess just uh, I was out there for two years, and uh, they're like super hard on drugs out there. So seeing everybody die around you is is like a tough thing. Like people that you uh, you know you're in a sober living with like fucking nine, ten dudes, and then. Uh, you're cooking breakfast with them one day, and then the next day, like you find them dead in their bed, kind of fucked up, you know. But the biggest. So has that has that made you value life more? Would you think? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how couldn't it? How couldn't it? Right. Right. But I mean, before that, were you more selfish and not really caring about people? Yeah. Because I never really had death in my life. Like I, I thought I was invincible. Like uh, uh, I would, I, I would like ride motorcycles and dirt bikes and and just be not afraid to die. So, uh, you know, you always go faster than everybody else, but you don't really care about your own self. Um, so that place made it more real for you. Is that what really got you through it? Yeah. Seeing that shit. Yeah. That's when, that's when I started caring about myself, 
uh, more than I cared about other people. And that might sound a little weird, but not in a selfish way, just like a, a perspective way, if that makes sense. Right, yeah. Um, how do you define success? Like you said, you had a heart, like a big work ethic, like you want to start a business like your father, or what does that look like for you? I mean, I already have. And uh, I mean, on the surface, it looks like it's failing, but uh, I wouldn't say it is. Because uh, my drive, you know, you just have that fucking drive. It's just, it's right. not failing to me. Because I, and, and it's, uh, there's a difference between being delusional and failing. And uh, you just have to find the right point. Like, I know when to pull out and find a job. So, so are you doing, you said influencing? Mm -mm. No, okay. Well, what does what your job entail? I just, uh, I do electrical work. Okay, like uh, residential, commercial? Both. Okay, cool. I've only done a little bit of electrical work. I used to build RVs in Indiana, and yeah. it was a lot of electrical work there. So, um, is there anything missing from your life currently? I would say now, my best friend. I mean... Damn. Are they back home? <laughs> uh, no. No, he's, he's gone, but... That's a, uh, that was the one that, uh, you know, what, like I was saying, you would go through the sober livings, the people you cook fucking breakfast with, they die by lunch. And, uh, so you met him there? Nah, he was at home. He was in high school. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I got back just in time for him to, uh, come over a couple of times and, uh, him to get pissed at me. I didn't talk to him for six months and then he passed away. Damn it, I'm sorry you had to deal no, with that. No, that's alright, that's alright. You say you've coped pretty well? No, no. No, that sucks, man, I'm sorry. Is there, is there anything that could happen, you think, that would make it a little bit better? As far as coping, you know, you say you're not doing well with it. I don't know, man. I haven't been there yet. Like, all I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just talking about shit I've been there about. Like, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not one to talk about the future because that's a, that's very gluttonous to talk about your future, right? Yeah, so. it's definitely not guaranteed or anything like that, so. It never is. I mean, I could die tomorrow. Do you have a bucket list? I do. What's number one on it? Like, money not an option, what would you want to do? Explore the world is there any place you'd like to see is there a number one i mean there's a ton but uh it's a weird one dude it's probably one that no one would ever say but uganda would probably be number one what about uganda fascinates you i mean just their culture it's just uh their culture is i mean it, look it up man it's it's uh all-encompassing of just like a loving culture great food it's a it's a weird one, man. I, I'm sure you never expected that. One. <laughs> no, it's you not probably, like I know much about you guys or anything like that. Dude, you probably would have expected like skydiving or something. Like. Yeah, for sure. Like Uganda is way out there, you know. Um, now, just going to Uganda would definitely be my fucking dream. I mean, I did a, a like social studies project on that place in sixth grade, and uh, I saw how beautiful the the people were, how beautiful their clothes were. They like they live in poverty, but they all still get along. Like just a just an absolutely beautiful place. So you've been through hell, and it looks like you're slowly climbing out. Do you have any advice? This is the last question I have for you. Do you have any advice for someone who might be struggling just in their life right now? Honestly, no matter how hard it is, uh, you have to look outside of yourself. I mean, I'm being pretty put on the spot. I don't want to sound fucking corny or nothing, but uh, you just have to look outside of yourself because uh, the more you look inside, the more you fail. The more you look outside, the more you succeed. I mean, that's I, I think that's pretty good. Hell yeah, man. I appreciate your time. All right. Thanks, man. I hope you have a great night. You too, brother. Thank you. Thank you. That was another episode of Conversations with a Stranger. I do hope you enjoyed it and will consider liking, subscribing, and sharing it on whatever platform you're currently hearing this on. Thank you again for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.